Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out, see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Five of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Ten of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Three of Cups reversed. And lastly, we have Major Account of the Star in the upright position. Okay, let's see what's going on for Saji. First up, we have here for your overall energy, the uh, Seven of Cups in the upright position. You've got lots of options and lots of opportunities, Sagittarius. Um, it's just a matter of zeroing in on one. When it comes to the Seven of Cups energy, the only sort of um, caution here is to make sure that you go through your options and your opportunities with a fine tooth comb because some of the options that are presented to you can be not very realistic or um, just basically not suited for us. So that's why it's very confusing energy. It's Neptunian, very, very much like the moon card where uh, you know, we think that something or a, a job or something is going to be the perfect answer. That's why you really, really need to look closely in order to uh, decide upon uh, which path you're going to take here. But you do have a lot of options. And I always say it's better to have all, all, more options than none. <laughs> Coming right into the week, we have the Five of Pentacles in the upright position. This can represent a little bit of energy of... Um, say on the financial front, it can be a little bit of a struggle. Maybe some of you come into the week a little bit concerned about finances, about whether or not the resources we have is going to be enough to deal with whatever it is we need to deal with. And uh, for others of you, this can represent a, a little bit of an abandonment energy where we feel abandoned by someone or by a group of people. Or it could be that we are abandoning someone or leaving someone out in the cold. So that's what you come into this week. And it's paired up with the Ten of Wands in the upright position. This is that of doing too much, like overdoing it. Uh, I always warn people when this card comes up, Sagittarius, lighten your load. You could be carrying way too many worries, way too many responsibilities and duties. Perhaps you're taking on a lot of extra duties, extra work. It could be due to finances. Maybe you're trying to, you know, you're working yourself, overworking yourself in order to make up for, you know, financial situations, trying to make extra money or that. Um, and if you're taking on extra duties in terms of, you know, for co-workers or that of family, friends, neighbors, you're trying to take on their burdens and trying to help them out, it could be, uh, it's, it's proving too much of, of, of a burden for you. So basically, I suggest people that you delegate and try to lighten your load because you're really over, overdoing it a little bit at the beginning of the week, Sagittarius. Now moving on towards the weekend, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse position. Um, someone else got this. I think it was... Who was it? Uh, cancer. Yeah, so maybe some of you are at the same party that Cancer's at. The Three of Cups in the upright position. This is um, about celebrations. This can represent sometimes getting together with co-workers at the end of the week and having a few drinks and having a good time. This can represent um, also celebrations of an engagement party or a wedding or just getting together with uh, close friends and having a really good time. When the card is inverted like this, this can represent, um, I call it the party gone bad, because <laughs> it can uh, point to, uh, say, gossip. Um, maybe there's a lot of gossip going around and it's just sort of, you know, uh, putting a damper on the evening kind of thing. Or it could be representing sometimes the Three of Cups in reverse can point back to the Two of Cups, where it's just that we choose not to socialize at this time. We'd rather just be one-on-one -on -one with our best friend or our best guy or gal uh, and just be hanging out, just the two of us. So you've got that energy going on. Like I said, Cancer also got this same card <laughs> for uh, that weekend energy. And the last card you have up is Major Arcana the Star in the upright position. This is the Aquarius card. This is beautiful energy. This is very healing and it's also very hopeful. I like this energy because this is where we know. We just know. It's not necessarily 
anything that's going on in our environment, but we just, it's an inner knowing that things are going to work out. We're feeling very optimistic. We see you at the beginning of the week struggling, but it could be towards week's end. You kind of get the answer. You just know what the answer is to whether it be a financial situation or work situation, whatever's going on, uh, how to fix it, or you just sense that something is going to turn around for you. It's a really, really good card. It's also a wish card. So wish upon a star, Saggy. Um, you do have all these options around you. So that is your reading for this week. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.